Hey guys, it's Nicole from Citizens of the Great Barrier Reef. People across the reef have been collecting tens of thousands of images for the Great Reef Census. And now we're calling on you to help analyze them and give critical data back to scientists and reef managers to better protect the reef. By completing these steps, you're doing your part to make a difference on the world's most iconic reef. Before we get started, you're going to need to know how to identify these three types of corals. First up, we have branching corals. Pretty straightforward. These corals look like tree branches or antlers. They can be thick, they can be thin. Anything that looks like this is considered a branching coral. We need your help identifying these as they are considered the reef building corals. They grow quickly and provide structure for reefs. Then we've got plating coral. Again, pretty straightforward. If it's flat and creates a plate looking structure, we'll call them plating corals. Often these corals layer on top of each other. These are also reef building corals. When reefs have a lot of these corals, it gives us an indication of how healthy they are. Finally, we have boulder corals. These reef building corals look like big boulders, sometimes kind of like cauliflower or a brain. Anything like this is a boulder coral. They are super slow growing. They grow around one centimeter a year. And what's really cool about them is that scientists can take samples of these corals and get a snapshot of the reef's condition over the years. There's also a couple of other categories. Other corals for any coral that doesn't fit into the three categories I just explained. Soft coral, for example. We also have reef structure. This is anywhere on the reef that doesn't have coral. And also we have a button for sand, water and shadow. Now that we've got this covered, let's get into the image analysis. Step one, here you're going to use cutting edge artificial intelligence developed with our partners at Dell Technology. When you first log into the site, you'll be asked to help label the coral types, pre-circled by AI. As you can see, the AI draws a red line around the types of coral, and you can select the option that best fits. Don't stress about being 100% correct. Just give us your best guess. Each image needs to be analyzed at least five times, so it won't just be you labeling them. Step two, let us know which coral type dominates this image. Take a look at the image. What is the majority made up of? Even if it looks pretty even, try to pick one that covers the most area. Step three. How much coral do you see? With this question, we're trying to identify coral cover, which can give scientists an indication of the health of the reef. When selecting a percentage, only include the coral on the reef. Leave water, sand, and hard to see areas out of your percentage. Now we're ready to submit. Once an image has been analyzed, a pop-up will appear telling you how many images you've done. If you wanna see where on the reef they were taken, check out your user dashboard here. Now it's over to you. We're hoping to get at least five images analyzed by each citizen scientist that takes part. But the more you can do, the better. Thank you for helping to protect and conserve the reef for the future.